where do you start with that? Right. So like what's the most people do some sort of content splintering, right? They create a piece yeah. of content that then rolls into um, is sort of repurposed into other yeah. types of content with the same yeah. core material pushed out onto different platforms. Where do you start with that? How do you think about it? How do you execute it? What are the keywords that we want to rank for? What, how can we create the best content on the internet for that topic and then get as many backlinks as possible and aka get it to rank for that keyword so that now it is a continual um, traffic source. And so that's kind of how I, I narrow in on that. You could also say, hey, where are your customers at and where, you, where what are you good at? So for me, it's video and, and I'm less on the written. So we have a writing team that does all the written content. Mm. Um, I'm more powerful on video. And so I default to that. That's kind of why I did the principles videos and then some of the self-publishing school content. It's like, I just default to video and then we can have the team do it you know, create a blog post out of that or create a lead magnet or whatever else. But biggest thing is that you don't have to publish a ton of content, publish great content that's drop the mic on that topic um, and make sure that it ranks. Because if it doesn't rank, well, then you're just going to be on a hamster wheel of just, you know, posting things and all that, which is just, I mean, some people that they build their whole business off of it. And that's a bit like, that is a unique way to grow a business. Um, it's just not for me. <laughs> it's also prefer a ton, to bring leverage. ton of effort to do yes. that. Um, yes. I mean, I can tell you as we're, you know, currently 20, 25 episodes into the podcast, it is a ton of effort yeah. to be yeah. recording all the time, shooting all the time, editing, uh, chopping it up, pushing out content from it. Yeah. Um, but like you said, I think one of the, one of the things that I really uh, liked about that was look for the medium of content that you enjoy, that you think you're good at and start yes. there. Yes. Um, and for you, that's video with objections or the sales process, right? So, I mean, you're, I would go ask your sales team, Hey, what are the top five to 10 things that you guys hear all the time that are either objections that you have to handle on that call or that are triggers that bring people onto the call and then create the best on the internet content on that, right? How to set up a merchant account. What if I do if my, if my funds get frozen in a merchant account? Like, I'm just spitballing here, but you probably have yeah. like, okay, a bunch of those type triggers that it's like uh, how to integrate payments with uh, Infusionsoft or mm -hmm. whatever the things are, right? And it's like, okay, if I can answer that very specific question, well, then this is a buyer. And that's, that's actually, I'll, I'll add one more thing is early on, we chase traffic. Now we chase high buyer intent traffic. Small distinction makes a massive difference. So early on, it was just like, oh, traffic's growing. It's amazing. And it's like, all right, now let's try to get leads from that traffic. All right, we got leads. It's amazing. Okay, now let's try to get them to book appointment. Like, oh, we got. And then, and then you realize you're like, oh, wow. Okay, um, if someone searches writing prompts, they're writing a high school paper. They're never going to sign up for self-publishing school. Yeah. <laughs> That's half of our traffic or what, like back <laughs> in the day. And it's like, oh, but if they search how to publish a book on Amazon, they are booking a call. They are signing up for self-publishing school. Like that is a high buyer intent keyword. And so that's what we think about a lot more now is, okay, what the, and good news is less competitive. Oftentimes, um, like I feel like, especially in your space, it's like you can solve some very niche problems at a high level and then, all right, book a call and let's chat about how we can handle your payments, easy pay direct. Mm. Right. And so, I mean, I'm just using you as an example, but anyone listening can do that for their business, obviously. 